So I um so I go to Jack in the Box today. And I'm gonna uh -huh. get, I, I went and flew, come back, I was gonna I was like, I'm gonna go to Jack in the Box because I like Jack in the Box. They got curly fries. And they got pretty good curly fries. Mm -hmm. And so so I stop in at the old Jack in the Box. And so I I pull in and there's like a person leaving the parking lot. And there's a vehicle parked outside. I was like, okay, cool. So I pull into the uh, pull into the drive-through, and I, you know, sitting at the deal. So I wait for about four or five minutes, mm -hmm. just waiting patiently for whoever's inside to realize that they have a job to do, and that is to talk to me through the little box and order me some food. But you know, I'm not worried about it. It's whatever. So finally, some guys like, hi. Not like, <laughs> welcome to Jack in the Box. Gonna take your order. Just hi. Hi. I was like, hi. How's it going? And he's like, it's uh, it's okay. Uh, what can I get for you? I was like, I'd like a number six with cheese, uh, curly fries, and a large Dr Pepper. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to slow down, and and say that. He <laughs> okay. Okay. So I stopped my way. He goes, so what did you want? Is it a number six? A number six? Yes. A number six. Do you want cheese on that? Well, it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'd like cheese. Yeah, please, please don't take anything off. <laughs> yes, I'd like cheese. I was then I waited for the French fry question. Would you like a bun with that? Well, they came stock with that, I assumed. And so anyway, so he asked for the fries. You want regular fries or curly fries? I said curly fries. He's like, is this a large order? Or, uh, you know, uh, a large order? Yes, yes, large order. He's like, and what kind of drink? I said a Dr Pepper. He goes, okay, that'll be you know whatever it was. I was like, all right. So I pull up to the window, and uh, he's like messing with the drink or something like that. And so I'm I'm waiting, and uh, so the first thing he like opens the window, and this this cup. I think there was more Dr Pepper on the outside of the cup than there was inside <laughs> the cup. It was a big cup. It was pretty much just drenched. It looked like it had been raining inside, but it was raining Dr. Pepper and not rainwater. And so anyway, so he like starts to hand it to me and then thinks about it and so like sets it down and then just wipes off one side. <laughs> <laughs> he just hands off, wipes off the side that he's going to hand to me. So he, I'm just, at this point, like, what, I don't care, man. Just just give me the drink. So I don't say anything to him. I just watch him and observe. And so he hands me this drink. I'm like, thank you, sir. That's how I take it. I get my straw and and then I wait for, and so I finally, I'm sitting there, and like, I sit there, like close to 15 minutes. I don't know if he had like had to go find the bread and make it or something. I'm not <laughs> sure what was going on. And so, but I was like, whatever, it didn't, it didn't, you know, I'm not, what am I going to do? Leave? I've already paid money for this stuff, I might as well wait for it. So finally, 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 he comes back. I was like, he must be like the only guy. There must be like a person who's got like chronic diarrhea or something and him. <laughs> or it's just him, you know. Something has incapacitated this other person. Anyway, so it looked like it was just him. So I finally get my food and I grab it. And so I'm driving by and, you know, you can see into the store, the, <laughs> the, front, the front itself. There's no one there. There's no <laughs> one. No one in this establishment and there's no one behind me and there was no one in front of me and so I'm sitting here going what the fuck what in the, what hell, in the hell took all this time for you to make this and I was just kind of like wow whatever went on to work get in there start eating my curly fries open up my damn box and it's a chicken sandwich <laughs> oh, frozen? No, it wasn't frozen, and it was actually pretty good. And I was actually thinking about getting a chicken sandwich before. I was like, no, you know what? It may suck here. I'm just gonna get a cheeseburger. And I was like, who the fuck ordered a chicken sandwich? What bastard has my cheeseburger? And why in the hell if we went from a number six to like it was like one through six was your regular, you know, Jack of the Box, what it, the regular stuff. Ten through fourteen was chicken stuff. <laughs> There's not even a sixteen. <laughs> Somehow I get a chicken sandwich, which I won't deny was pretty good, and it did have cheese on it. 
So I didn't get gypped. <laughs> so it had cheese on it. So I, I was like, I was, I, just got, I was like, how? What happened? What? <laughs> what? There was just, he was like, he was thinking so hardcore about a chicken sandwich or something. Like me, I was thinking about it, you know, and he was just thinking about it so hard. Or maybe I sent it to him to you know, through telepathy, and then he was like, I'm going to make this man a chicken sandwich. He doesn't realize he wants a chicken sandwich, but he needs a chicken sandwich. Anyway, <laughs> so that's pretty much uh, how you can... That is that is Baton Rouge customer service right there. It's, it's I like really how they read your mind and gave you what you actually really wanted instead of what you ordered. <laughs> If it hadn't been 15 minutes away and I was already back at work, if I had opened it up, I would have just I would have pulled around and walked inside and been like, "Hey guy, I understand that you know working at a fast food establishment can suck, and I understand that some days are worse than others. I also understand that it can be really busy, but when there's no one in your store, no one in the drive-through, and you have nothing else to do, you think you could at least." Get the right freaking sandwich. <laughs> Especially when it took 20 minutes. Maybe it was busy spanking it, making you some special sauce. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> there was some delicious white sauce on there. Oh, that's so wrong. I wish it was in enough to take a shot in the mouth, but nope, not me, sir. <laughs> Torpedoes for days. <laughs> Yuck. That was my adventure for today. <laughs> that and 180 autos. Iron's big day. That's definitely that was, that's that's shooting, shooting big day. Possums. Possums. I definitely dusted the yellow uh, cat outside today. <laughs>